to another video guys. We finally have an update from Rule Rock. They uh they actually reached out to me. I didn't have to reach out to them again. So one of the higher higher ups reached out to me, they emailed me and they kind of wanted to make things better. I guess the, the feedback got to them. They uh, saw the videos and um, yeah, they try to make it, try to make everything better. So um, I gotta say that the customer service from this individual was amazing and is the customer service I was expecting from the beginning from them. Due to the lack of fitment on the helmet and everything that I was unhappy with. Um, so here we have my Rurock. 3.0 and right before we dive into this video I've been getting a lot of questions and people asking me every time they see this helmet on my Instagram They're like, oh, well, I thought you didn't like it. Why are you wearing it? Why are you wearing it? Like, why are you lying? Like, I'm wearing it because I paid almost $600 for this helmet and I'm not gonna just throw it out I'm also wearing it because it's the helmet that I have my GoPro set up with so for me to go back so everything else I just haven't had the time to stretch everything out um, that's basically it so uh, diving into this video now they went ahead and they shipped this box out to me so in this box we got a new headliner um, we have some new padding which this is the padding that I was expecting from the beginning so it's a nice thick padding this is what I was in not even me, but everyone was expecting from the beginning. Um, it feels very cushiony. This is what I was expecting. The other pad. Um, and we have the vent plugs as well. So he said that the vent plug is going to help a lot with the wind noise. So right now what we're going to do is that we're going to set everything up um, and see the fitment of everything. So before we do that, I'm just going to put the helmet on right now. As is to show you guys like the fitment of exactly the issue that I was having. Okay, so as you can see, the helmet kind of moves around very freely and it's not supposed to be that way. It's supposed to feel very snug to a point where it's not supposed to move anywhere. And these cheap pads are horrible! Ugh, taking it off is still a bitch. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just take all the guts out of here replace them with the new stuff that they sent me and hopefully hopefully this changes everything because I mean I gotta be honest once again like I mentioned in the other two previous video this helmet looks really nice it's really really cool like it just it looks amazing and I want to I want to like it I want to love it so let's fix all these errors right now hopefully this fixes everything okay so after I had everything on nice where it goes. I just want to compare real quick the uh, cheek pads because, yeah, this is this, this is so trash. This is the cheek pad that the helmet came with. As you can see here, no padding on here whatsoever. This is trash. This is the new cheek pads they sent to me. This is what the helmet should have came from from the beginning. So, yes, a huge huge difference it's like apples and oranges man also gonna take out the headliner out just because i mean i didn't really have an issue with the headliner but since they sent the new one might as well switch it out maybe we could compare real quick so i want to see what the difference is. yep i see it even with the headliner there's just the headliner looks like it has a thicker padding on the new one rather than the old one here so we're gonna Trash that away. All right, so now that we have the headliner on the helmet, we can go ahead and add the cheek pads. All right, so now that we have both cheek pads in, let's try to put it on. Ugh. Okay. All right, so you see now that's the the snug fitment you want from a helmet. This thing's not gonna move side to side like it was dancing before. Nice, very good. I'll say that these cheek pads do have a lot more cushion. For some reason though, they're just not fitting right though. I feel like they're just squished. Let 
Let me take this off. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> yep. Yeah, uh, I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I just don't know. It, it's even harder to put on and take off now. It is, it, it feels more patent, but once you put it on, the cheek pads just like come all over the place and they are snapped in place where they're supposed to be at. Uh, I'm not happy. Uh, this, this is just, this just made things a bit more, more difficult now to put on. All right, so I'm taking these new pads off and putting the old ones back on because it's obvious that I can't even put on or take off the damn helmet. All right, so this is back with the old pads. Oh, God. Yo, this thing. Like even putting it on at times, it just flips your ear in there. Um, yeah, so the new pads I'm not gonna be using. I'm back to the old pads. Um, yeah, at least these original pads kind of stay in place. Um, they don't move out and scrunch out like those new ones did. Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty safe to say that I'm kind of done with this helmet. Um, I will be switching back to my built helmet here, which is only 110 bucks and fits and feels amazing um, for a $110 helmet. Uh, yeah, I just, I just can't. I just can't keep doing this, man. Every time I'm going to take off this helmet or put it back on, it's like it's, it feels crazy. It's, it feels super tight. Once the helmet is on, feels big, like it's just, it's weird the way it fits. Um, these new pads did no work whatsoever. Um, um, yeah. Um, thank you, Rurock, for trying to make things better, but I, it's just, I don't think it's just for me, to be honest. Um, that's it, man. Uh, I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.